have here a combustion equation. This is question number three in our sheet. Determine the mass of carbon dioxide produced when 0.85 grams of butane reacts with oxygen according to the following equation. We have a balanced equation here. We balanced it uh, starting with carbon dioxide. Whenever you have a combustion equation to balance it, you always start with carbon, then hydrogen, then oxygen. You balance alphabetically, C, H, O. So we have here, uh, we had two butane molecules and we balanced it by putting eight carbon dioxides. Uh, there were 10 hydrogens and butanes, but two butanes gives you 20 hydrogens, so we put uh, 10 times H2O, which gives you the 20 hydrogens. Then we have 16 plus 10, 26 oxygens. 26 oxygens is provided by 13 O2 molecules. So now that we have a balanced equation, we have the correct stoichiometry, meaning that two moles of butane require 13 moles of oxygen to produce 8 moles of carbon dioxide and 10 moles of water. And we can scale up those, those proportions to any number we'd like as long as we keep the proportions. And the answer is always going to be in moles. So if I said 20, 130, 80, and 100, it would still be correct. I could say 2,000, uh, uh, 13,000, 8,000, and 10,000, it would still be correct, and so on, and every other uh, ratio would give me a, the, the same stoichiometry provided I kept the, uh, the ratio the same. This is a problem that goes from grams to moles, moles to moles, moles to grams. So it's the, the usual format for solving these stoichiometry problems. You usually start off with moles uh, or grams, and then you go through the whole, um, the whole sequence. We get from grams of one substance to grams of another substance within the same reaction. You have to go through moles and the stoichiometry appears here. Moles of this substance will give you x moles of that substance, but you see it's a 2 to 8 ratio. So that's where this ratio appears here in, in this calculation. We see here that we have 0.85 grams of butane. We've divided by the molar mass of butane, which is calculated by multiplying the molar mass of carbon and the, multi and the molar mass of hydrogen by 10. You see there are 10 hydrogen atoms in, in, in uh, butane, so we've multiplied the molar mass of hydrogen by 10. There are four carbon atoms in butane, so we multiply the molar mass of carbon by four. That gives us 1.46 times 10 to the minus two moles of butane. So we're here now. We're at the moles. We want to go to moles of the other substance, of CO2. So that's why we incorporated this ratio. What is the ratio? It's eight moles of CO2 produced for every two moles of butane used. How do I know to put it 8 over 2. Why didn't I put it 2 over 8? How do we figure that out? Well, look at, the, look at the thing that you're trying to get rid of. We're trying to get rid of moles of butane to find out moles of CO2. So how do you get rid of something that's in the numerator? You put something that's, that's exactly the same in the denominator. So I wanted moles of butane in the denominator. And that's, that allows me to cross out moles of butane. The ratio is 4 to 1 because 8 over 2 reduces to 4 over 1. So 4 times this number gives you the number of, number of moles of carbon dioxide that is formed. We get 5.849 times 10 to the minus 2 moles of CO2. Notice how I retain all the decimal places. I retain all the decimal places because I don't want to round it off while I'm doing the calculation. Keep all the decimal places in your calculator while you're doing the calculation. You round off only at the end. So we have that many moles of CO2. And now we're here, I want to convert it to grams of CO2. So I'm going to multiply by the molar mass of carbon dioxide, which is 44.0098. You obtain it by adding 12.011, the mass of carbon, plus 2 times the mass of oxygen, which is 15.394 grams per mole. So this number multiplied by that number gives you that you get 2.5744 grams of CO2. Of course, we're not going to maintain all these decimal places. We only had two significant figures in the original uh, question, so we can only report our answer to two significant figures. Therefore, we have to round it off to 2.6 grams of carbon dioxide is produced.